A decision from the president has saved the fireworks industry. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Ann Harder. Lindsay Lipman has the evening off. President Trump deciding this week to suspend the proposal of tariffs on millions of dollars of Chinese goods. And Hunter Davis joins us now live from TNT Fireworks in Nolanville. Hunter, thanks to Monday's decision, the fireworks industry, it'll continue to boom, I guess. And from $5 to $600, there's something for everyone when it comes to fireworks. But President Trump threatened that back in May when he proposed a 25% tariff on all goods imported from China, including fireworks. From sparklers to Roman candles and your traditional fireworks, people choose all sorts of different ways to light up the sky for the 4th of July. He's kind of like the loud, he likes the pop, pop, pop. I'm kind of like, what do we see? You know, I want to see yeah. the pretty flowers. Uh, yeah, I just want to see colors. Colors, things that like fly up. But the tradition can come with a pretty hefty price tag. The most we probably spent, what, three? Three, four hundred? About four hundred. Um, we'll probably spend probably close to a hundred bucks. And fortunately, those popping fireworks won't have to pop open their wallet any more than normal. Actually, they might have got a little, a little cheaper. A little cheaper. A little yeah. cheaper this year. Which goes against the predicted spike in cost. That's because the list of $300 billion in Chinese goods targeted for tariffs, including fireworks, has been suspended. Just in time for first time firework buyer Tyler Hicks to make some explosive memories. I mean, some of these things look like they're pretty cool, so might be worth the price. I mean, it's just money. You can get some money. You can always get money back, but having fun, I mean, you know, can't really put a price on that. Now shoppers say while some of the prices have gone up, they still get a ton of bang for their buck. That's More why we keep coming back. <laughs> That's why we're always coming back here. So thanks to the decision on Capitol Hill, everyone will get to have a happy Fourth of July without worrying about it being their last boom. And because of that decision from the Trump administration, consumers are safe from what experts estimated to be $200 million in boom tax, which is the increase in fireworks costs. Live in Nolanville, Hunter Davis, Central Texas News Now. Thanks, Hunter. The American Pyrotechnics Association claims that of the 250 million pounds of fireworks that are imported by the U.S., nearly 95% do come from China.